Welcome to the Speaks for the tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how it's possible to reconstruct in 3D a radio tower with Speaks for the mapper. This tutorial could also be applied to any other tall structure, such as a power tower, transmission tower, and etc. So, what are the challenges of modeling this kind of structure? Well, first, they are usually very tall, which makes them not easily accessible to collect data about them. They are also a very thin structure, so it's more difficult for Pixel Mapper to find many key points belonging to the structure on the images. And finally, they are often made of reflective material, which can make them appear white on some images. But I will show you in this tutorial that with a good flight plan and some manual editing, it's possible to obtain a very nice 3D reconstruction with Pixel Mapper of the tower. Regarding the datasets, in this example, the images were acquired with the DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus. It's possible to use any other drone, since Pix4D for the Mapper is compatible with any drone or camera, but the advantage of using this drone is that it's compatible with our mobile application Pix4D for the Mapper Capture app. Currently, our application is only compatible with this drone, but it will soon support more drones. And to capture the images, the free flight mission of the application was used. With this mode, you need to fly manually the drone and set a horizontal and vertical image spacing at which the images will be automatically taken. Choose the settings in order to have enough overlap depending on the distance to the, to the structure that you fly. When you fly the drone, fly close to the structure and around it to cover all angles and at different height. The camera angle should be about 45 degrees to cover as much ground as possible and less sky content. Once the mission is completed, a P4D project file is created on your phone and can be shared by email using our application to access it on a computer. The images were taken from the drone's SD card and transferred to the computer. The next step is to process the images using Pix4D. Simply double click on the P4D project file to open Pix4D Mapper and select step 1 and 2 and click start. And the processing will start. And now let's have a look at the results. Here you can see the results of the densified point cloud after processing step 1 and 2 with the default processing options. You can already recognize the tower and identify some elements belonging to it. For example, you can start inspecting some antennas that are part of the tower. You can click on an antenna and on the right, the images that are seeing this point will be displayed. You can start inspecting this antenna by selecting some images to have a different point of view of the antenna. What you can see also is that Pix4D Mapper reconstructed the whole area around the, around the tower. So you might want to remove all these points in order to focus only on the tower. To do this, I will draw a processing area. So right click on this layer and select New Point Cloud Densification Area. I will place the view from above to make it more easy to draw the processing area and then start drawing all around the tower. Right click to close the object. And then you can see that the points around outside the box will be removed. You can also adjust the height in order to make sure that the tower is completely inside the processing area. Then unselect this area in order not to display it. So now we have a better view of the antenna. And what you can see is that some points are missing, for example here or here. So a good practice with Speaks for the Mapper is to check the reprojection of the model. So let's click on this point. So if the reprojection is good, the, the green cross would be located at the same spot on the object on all images. So here you can see that it's correctly displayed on the antenna. But here you can see that it's near the top of the antenna 
and on some images you can see that the point is reprojection reprojected in the sky so this is a good indication that the reprojection can be improved to improve it add some manual type points so to add a type point click on this button and mark it on several images at the same location for example i will choose the top of the antenna we click here and another image here <coughs> And then click on apply you have to click on at least two images so so that you can click on apply keep um, clicking marking the um, the manual type point on images as long as the green cross is not on the top of the yellow one so you can see here like I need to mark the images that I need to mark more images. Okay. So add more type points in the model in order to improve it. So I would advise to mark some type points in the area where where some uh, when where the model is missing, when some part of the model is missing. For example, you should add some type points here and also here. Also add some type points where the point cloud is really noisy. For example, in this area, it could help to add some manual type points to improve the model. Once you have added manual type points all over the antenna, don't forget to click on Reoptimize for the type points to be taken into account. Okay, so now we are looking at the results of the tower after having, having added ma manual type points and after the re-optimization of the model. You can see all the manual type ones are displayed in green on the model. So you can see that the model is already much improved. But let's compare it with the previous one. Okay, so on the, on the, left, <coughs> on the left you can see the model without no manual editing and on the right the model after having added the manual type points. You can see that this part of the structure is now present in the mod in this model, but it was not present in the model without no manual editing. So the manual type point already helped to improve the model. But let's also check the reprojection of the model. So for example, if I click on this point, You can see that now the green cross and the yellow cross are almost at the same location. So this means that the reprojection is already improved. <coughs> what is also possible to do in Pix4D Mapper is to perform some measurement. To measure an object, click on create a new polyline object. And for example, I will measure this antenna, click at the base of it and at the top right click to close the object. You can see here the measurement appear here 3.55 meters. You can also adjust the polyline to make sure that you really measure from the base of the antenna to the top of it. You can see here that the measurement is already updated 3.62 meters. What you can also do in Pix4D Mapper is to digitize object. So using the same tool, so the polyline, you can digitize the tower by drawing on the main structure of it. So this is what it looks like. <coughs> and then you can also export these polylines by right clicking on the on the polyline and click on export then you can choose different files format for example AutoCAD DXF so is it possible to improve the results well yes but what you will need to do is to take more images especially from the part that are missing in the model with more overlap, especially here, there would have been more points generated. 
but it's also possible to decrease the settings of the processing in order to to produce more more points however this will introduce more noise in the model to do this click on local processing and in the options under point cloud <coughs> You can decrease the minimum number of matches from 3 to 2. If you have only 2 for the minimum number of matches, this means that at least 2 images will are needed in order to project a point. So I will select OK and then all you need to do is to select step 2 and click on start. So here you can see the results of the densified point cloud with the options for the minimum number of matches decrease from 3 to 2. As expected, you can see there is, that there is much more noise in the point cloud all around the structure. You can also see that the structure is almost completely reconstructed. If you had more images, you would have obtained the same result but, but without the noise in the point cloud. It's possible to remove those points by editing the point cloud. So click on this button to edit the densified point cloud. Then you can start selecting the points. Right click to close the polygon and then assign the points to the delete class. Uh, <coughs> I have already done this for the whole point cloud. And if I uncheck the delete point group, you can see that all the points that are assigned to the delete class are removed. So now you can see more clearly the tower. So what if you only want to use this part of the point cloud that was not visible in the other project but that you can see here. So it's possible to create a point group so similarly to how you can delete points in the Densified Point Cloud, click on this button and select only this part of the Point Cloud. Then create a new point group, for example, let's call it Part 1, and then assign the points to this class. Stop editing, and now you can see if I display only this point, this point group, that you only have this one. So now let's export only this point group. So right click on the identified point cloud let layer and click export point cloud. Save the changes and then to export only this point group click on select and select only part one. Here you can see that I selected only the group part one. Then you can select a destination uh, folder, click OK and the exporting is already done. You can see that the point cloud is here. Now we are back in the project with the missing part and with um, where we added the manual type points. And if you import, to import the point cloud that we just uh, generated in the other project, simply drag and drop the last files in the project. So now you can see that this part which was missing previously is now present in this model. You can see the difference if I uncheck this layer. You can see that here it's missing and here you can see the point cloud that was generated in the other project is now correctly imported in this project. So is it possible to improve even more the results? Yes, but you would need a better dataset. So you should capture more images, especially in the part where the tower was missing. So you need to increase the overlap. You can also fly closer to the structure in order to capture more detail. And finally, you can also decrease the camera, the camera angle at the top of the tower to have less sky content on the images because the sky cannot be used to calibrate the images. Thank you very much for watching this video tutorial and for more information visit our support website support.pix4d.com.